for all you gadget freaks out there, I've got the Google Cardboard Kit in front of me. It's the unbranded version, which is going to be slightly cheaper than the branded Google one you get. This one only cost me $3.99, including posting packaging from Amazon. I can give you the link afterwards. Um, so here we are. The instructions are fairly basic. It looks quite straightforward. Um, it came in a normal large letter. And you get the basically the kit and the goggles with it, I guess. Um, so basically, you get the cardboard, which is the main thing, uh, which is a frame. And also you get the lenses that come with it. And, and that's about it, you don't worry, you don't get the uh, Android unfortunately, or the iOS phone, that's going to be your device. We will go through that afterwards. So, so this is the kit. Instructions seem fairly straightforward. Let's go and open this up and see how it goes. Okay folks, here's the contents inside the packet. You've got the instructions as you saw earlier. You've got the main body kit, which is that one there. You've got the lenses. Um, it's already attached to the eyepiece and I'm not sure what quite that this bit here is here but I think we need that later on. You've got elastic band, you've got six tiny square velcro pieces and then you've got two magnets and you've got the main strap that you put around your head and let's see how that goes. Okay step one is pretty much the easiest one it just means remove all the surplus pieces of cardboard so that's one of them and then you've got the rest here. Let's do that. Yes, I forgot to add that the instructions are double-sided, so in this side of the instructions you've got the um, parts with the numbers on them. So for example, number 5 is obviously this one here. Okay, kind of gets a little bit tricky on step 2. According to the diagram, I th this is what I think needs to happen. So you're sort of folding this in on itself like that, and you sort of push that in there. And these got to go this way around, so that plugs into here and there like that and it's got to be assembled. So let me assemble that accordingly and we'll see how that goes. Okay, this is quite quite flimsy without any sellotape or blue tech. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do steps two, demonstrate steps two and three together, but I may need to little cheat a little bit by putting a little bit of sellotape on it, but here's what two and three, steps two and three goes. It, I don't think it matters whether you put it this way around or that way. Uh, the lens pretty much feel the same, both both sides. So what it's saying is this was pretty much step one and two. Uh, this was like that. And, and see the extra piece here? The idea was to actually slot it slot it inside here and it slots between like that. So you've got this bit like that. That goes inside there and then pretty much like that. So let me assemble this and let's see how the finished piece goes from there. Okay, seems like it's not going to fall. So let me move on to step number four and five. Okay folks, pretty much steps four and five are saying the rest of the body of the uh, unit, uh, shall I say the big piece, to wrap it around what you've already assembled. So you're pretty much hooking, hooking them all up from here. So from there, from there, and I guess from here. And then I'll, I'll sort this out in a minute properly, but I guess eventually it'll be pretty much like this. And then, uh, and I guess that's the outside. Okay, this is up to step number eight, so the bigger piece is wraps around the eyepiece here and all the way goes around here like that, and this is what it currently looks like. I was cheated a little bit, I put a little bit of blue tack on here because it kept them falling apart, unfortunately, but I think when we put the elastic band around it, it should be fine. So this is one side of it, and, and that's one the other side here, as you can see. Okay folks, steps 9 and 10 are kind of fun because you have to use one of these magnets, put a magnet inside this side and another magnet on this side so it acts like a magnetic button. So I'll stick these in now. There we are, the magnetics stick together on both sides. Okay, steps 11 and 12 pretty much say put the Velcro stickers on the corners of this uh, unit. So you've got I'm just placing one here and another one here. But you've got the other side, which needs to be put on here. But this is the, so they're sticky. So one's a spongy bit, one's the actual wiry bit. And that will go here, and another one here, and so forth. And then I assume they're just going to close like that. So I'm going to stick these down and see how it goes. Okay, the Velcro strips have been attached. You can see in the, in the corners. So this will be just like that when it closes. 
as you probably may also notice this little gap here about a centimeter for your phone to sit in and sit there nicely so it doesn't get too squashed uh, to be honest I think this is pretty much nearly done uh, all I need to put is elastic band around it and the strap that came with it here we are this is the final finish I guess pretty much and this is what the unit looks like I put the rubber band around it and that's the extra true velcro strips that probably go with this and there's no instructions for this bit bit on unfortunately but um, you know common sense probably says that you probably put them around here and another one there to straps on your head so I'm not going to put this on just yet uh, the next the final piece really or shall I say final stage will be to download this QR it says download the free cardboard app by scanning the QR code or search on the Play Store but these instructions could well be for the Android but I'm going to try and do it for the iOS which I've got and take it from there so here we are so here we are folks just going to download the Google Cardboard app on the iOS so that's busy downloading as I speak but if you notice there's other stuff in there as well so you've got the virtual reality roller coaster for the Google Cardboard you've got something else so there's going to be quite a few things you can play around with but I'll probably most likely play with this um, roller coaster one for the starters so what I'll do is I'll let me get that as well and then take it from there install so these two are busy installing oops let me do a touch thing on there okay so these two are busy installing you've got the Google Cardboard and then you've got the roller coaster thing I'm going to play around with and take it from there okay the Google card Cardboard app comes up with some nice instructions to pair your goggles or shall I say the lens with the phone so I'm going to follow the instructions and then it's probably better if you actually follow the instructions when you download it yourself rather than through viewing it from here okay folks I just launched the Google app press next 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 and I'm going to slide this into the uh, the thing this way around and take it from there let's see how it goes oh my gosh folks seriously the next steps can't be shown on here because it's so awesome uh, I just put my I just put my iOS on there in, in, the, in the device and I just fired up the Google app the Google Cardboard app and oh my gosh I was in virtual reality land and it had some options and things like you know if you want to go to Tokyo or Paris and literally I was standing in front of the Eiffel Tower and if you move your head left and right and up and down you literally are in virtual reality um, obviously that can't be seen through here you really guys you really have to get yourself one of these kits it doesn't have to be this brand this is unbranded 399 of Amazon I'll give you the link but if you want a bit more sturdy a bit more better then go for the Google Cardboard itself on Google there are other makes and brands out there um, seriously guys I mean I'm impressed um, give it a go